Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I've been up for just a little while. It got really, uh, I shouldn't say really, it's, it's 54 degrees. It got chilly, okay? So a couple of days ago, it was up in the 80s, uh, approaching 90. So it felt very warm. And now all of a sudden got down into the 40s. But I know older people would always say there was, you know, would be a uh, blackberry winter is what they called it. And I do notice that the blackberries are blooming and it does always seem to get cold when the blackberries start to bloom. And I've heard before that it gets cool when the dogwoods bloom. So the earth just knows what she's doing. My hair is a bit of a mess this morning. Got it just clipped up. I'll be washing it later today and maybe curling it because Jason has a gig tonight. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. It feels really good to be, I guess, in charge of my own schedule again and able to just really knock out work during the day or, you know, take a break during the day and help my daughter with something and then come back at night or whatever needs to happen. I'm going to switch the camera view because I'm working in my art journal this morning and I wanted to just show you some things that I've done. This current journal is almost full. Wow, messy desk. Here we are. A lot going on. So I have a few pages here of digitals that I've put into my Patreon. Oh, I've already got water on that one. That's okay though. Wow, look at that pretty green color that came out of there. Or maybe that was already there. I don't remember that having... No, I did that. Hmm. It could be where I was carrying so much out here at one time. Uh, so last night I did something kind of fun. Oh, there's typewriter. <laughs> so, typewriter is my sweet little shop assistant, you all know. It's too cold for typewriter to come out here today. Oh, let's see, a stamp. So, I did something last night that was kind of fun. I thought I would try a repeat of that again this morning. And I'll just show you what, what I did. Let's just do, maybe we can do part of a face around this tag. Didn't do enough of an angle there. Um, let's see. Oh, look, I did not plan that. That hole was perfect for the eye. Looks like a little baby. That's not what it's supposed to be. That's not what it's going to be, I don't think. Let's just get these little strings out of the way. Now here is what I did. I don't know, I was just thinking, what would happen if I took, let me get the right colors here raw umber, if I just took the Karen Dash crayons or pastels, and this might not be the best page for this because there's ink from the stamp. I don't know if it's going to run as well, but I'm just going to show you what I was, what I did. And let's get some other colors in here. Maybe, maybe this pretty green. I don't want to get my feathers wet. Let's move them over out of the way. We could even put some green in her hair. Maybe she's like a, just a mossy sort of goddess. And let's do this. I gotta get some new ultra fine tip Sharpies. 
So I started thinking if I just put these crayons down and then wet the page. And then, oh, where is it? Get sort of a mind blown effect. I sprayed too much water, I think, right here. Let's just get some of that. And then, I, I like this thing. I really do. See what it does to her. And then you can come back when that dries and add, you know, more color, more layers. I'm gonna put these pages together and see if I can speed up the drying process. But this is the one I did last night. And um, I wrote, every day is a winding road. Yesterday I heard that older song by Sheryl Crow. I like her, by the way. And, um, ooh. That's got like a nature feel to it, like a that really pretty mossy green color. I love that. Well, let's turn on our little fairy lights. Okay, let's fast forward to right now, this minute. It's the following day. Uh, the first part of this was recorded on Friday. It's now Saturday morning. And I think I'm pretty much finished with this art journal. It is going on the shelf because I'm really in the mood to make some new journals. And uh, one for myself, I need a new one and I kind of have an idea of what I want that to look like. And I'm gonna make some others to go along with it to go in the shop. So let's do a flip through of this one before it goes on the shelf. This journal is covered in a some sort of garment. You can see the collar up here. Uh, I believe it's made or was made in India. You can kind of tell by the fabric and there was probably a tag that I sewed over the top of. But it felt sort of bohemian, sort of Indian, and I had been cleaning out and had these little pieces that I wanted to incorporate into an art journal and it kind of all just fell together. I had this strip of fabric that I wanted to use a piece of. We've got the rose out here that's just sort of hanging by a safety pin. This is a pretty bead I purchased recently at Michael's. We have a little dragonfly that's stitched onto the front of the journal and some beads here. So let's just open this up. This is pretty heavy metal actually. And I think, I think this is some sort of heavy plastic. Getting inside of here, uh, so the way I do my journals, I incorporate labels. Well, okay, not every journal. Uh, I think my next journals, I'm not really gonna have labels and trash and stuff like that, unless I see something that really, really inspires me and also goes along with sort of the theme of the journal. So here we have in the very front a tag. I came across uh, some of these empty tag it's, it says hemp cord, but I actually came across several that didn't have any cord on them. I think they were just, um, I don't know, they ended up in a reuse type situation. Some flower petals that were floating around the shop. What is that? Okay, that's a button that I put in the center of that one. These were from some vintage flowers, and I definitely wanted to keep a couple of those for myself. This is from a coffee container. I just love that type of look. I like the Starbucks lady too. They look like goddesses. Uh, labels under here, just some collage type work. This is a beer bottle cap that I found in a parking lot. So I just punched a hole through that with an awl and then stitched that into place with the sewing machine on top of a fabric tab. Uh, you might remember that art page. Some of these images like this one and this one, uh, I mentioned the other day that I was deconstructing some old um, Stampington magazines, and I just cut some of the some of the pictures out that I really liked 
to either put to the side for inspiration or to just glue into my art journal. This is sort of a personal entry under here, so I'm not gonna open this up, but it's just a flap with some pretty wallpaper on it. And then this picture, got a bobby pin holding that into place. And then here, that was another entry, food label, best tomato sauce ever. I do love the Hunt's tomato sauce with the basil garlic and oregano. I could drink that stuff. Makes really good homemade pizza. Um, I've been putting images into my Patreon page and I've, I'm just trying to keep up with what I put in there and when they go in. That was a little set of patterns from 1914 and let's see. Okay, this is from an ad from the old Stampington magazine. You can see my stamp under there and a Dina Wakely bird stamp there. And then we have a paper clip with a really pretty sort of steampunk bird charm that I wanted to keep. Under here is also a personal entry. I do a lot of journaling in my journals, whether they're art journals or themed journals. Uh, so sometimes I just don't want to share on camera some of the things that are written down. This is just some practice I did with different types of uh, maybe leaves or flowers, and I cut this down and did some stamping on top of that. I like the way that turned out. It kind of reminds me of an old-fashioned wallpaper. And there's another ad from Stampington. Um, get it together. That's kind of a message to myself with some things that I'm doing or changing in my life. This flips up. You all probably remember that. I love this page. So this was kind of the space theme scrapbook paper that came in a super buy paper pad from michael's that's a stencil that i purchased recently from the dollar tree another bottle cap i can't remember if i found that one on a walk or in a parking lot um, i put some lace here this is an image i think that was also cut from stamping time that's a word that's just in one of the patreon downloads and i cut that out you might remember the label from the bird seed bag. I love this wallpaper with the coffee cups. And under here, we've got a chocolate label, a little stamp of a bird, song thrush. That is also from Stampington. I love inspiration. So I do, on a regular basis, take my journals off of the shelf and look through them. And I like to have things in there to inspire me to keep learning and keep growing and also to go back to sometimes things that I've forgotten about. I have to watch my own videos sometimes to get inspiration and say, oh, I remember this and I was going to do more of that and even springboard from that into learning something else. But as we move on and create more content and do different things, at least for myself, I forget some of the things I was working on. So I love to have little bits and pieces that inspire me when I go back and pull an old journal off the shelf to flip through it. You might remember the little note here. I love that I've been dreaming more and dreaming more clearly and remembering. I've talked about that a little bit. I think it's the healing that I'm going through. I'm finally releasing maybe some of the regret, some of the fear, some of the pain, uh, things that have been too painful to think about and really digest. Um, and my dreams have come back. I used to be such a vivid dreamer and I definitely want I'm going to start, I'm going to make a dream journal, okay? I'll just say that. So you can expect those coming up soon, and we will do some journaling together in the dream journals. So there's a food label, a pasta label, and there's Alice from Alice in Wonderland, a little sticker. That might be one that Jennifer sent. And then we have this package that some uh, stainless steel scours came in an old, I think that's Renoir, a painting back there, just a little clipping from a book or something. Here's another set of digital images from things that were put into the Patreon page. And then I love this wallpaper. I went around the edge and stamped with a bunch of little Tim Holtz um, stamps, the tiny one, the tiny ones, not, uh, not stamps, but just the stamp pads. I went around with different colors. That's from the Stampington Magazine. Uh, I love the bird. I love the writing. I love the saying, happiness comes when your work and words are of benefit to yourself and others. And I do love that. That is my goal for 
my community here for my channel. I am healing through art and learning so much and having this wonderful outlet that's leaving something tangible, the journals that I can go back and look at, um, things that my children can refer to. I write a lot of personal notes and things that have happened. Sometimes I'm surprised to go back and read about something, a place that Jason and I went to visit or something like that, and I will have totally forgotten if it weren't for having a journal entry about it. Of course, there's a Dunkin' Donuts bag. I love coffee, and sometimes I do get a donut to go with it. The world is so loud, it is sometimes hard to hear your own voice. I put a little butterfly stamp in there. I love that she's partially hidden. I think we do get lost sometimes in the noise of all the other voices and ideas and we need to just, the world needs who we are. We are the only ones who can bring our personalities, what we offer, our life experience, our way of looking at things. The world needs us, Every, we all need each other. I need you and I hope you need me and I hope that makes sense. So let's see, that's from the Stampington Magazine. These are just some little cutouts I had from clipping some things here in my old papers. Uh, that was from an old ad. That's another thing that's in the Patreon page and youth was part of the ad. Here I have a message that I like to use uh, when, I'm, when I'm tapping. There's a tapping therapy that I really like. I am safe. It's a perfect day to follow that dream in my heart. And then all around her, follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your heart. So follow your heart. And let's see, on this page, we have a drawing I did not too long ago with some trim. That's a beautiful old stained piece of that paper that was on my art desk. Uh, here's a little flip out page. These old pictures from a catalog. I believe that was a Charles Williams, yes, Charles Williams Stores, Inc from the early 1920s. That was in the Patreon page. And then here is a recipe. This is a wonderful biscuit topped casserole. And I made this not too long ago. I hadn't made it in a long, long time. And I just kind of thought about it one night and went through my old recipe book. I used to make this a lot when the kids were little. And Jason and I really enjoyed it. And then I sent a picture of it, this picture to my daughter. And I said, do you want this recipe? She said, Oh my goodness, yes, I haven't had that since I was a child. So anyway, there's there's that. This is a chip bag, as you can see. More images from Stampington. That's from some trail mix. And underneath here, we have sort of a sassy looking girl from a book page. And I've written around here, don't think for one minute that you concern me. And a little clock image stamped here and I wrote, check back later, I still won't care. Uh, let's see. And then we have, oh, I love this. So um, just a little drawing of a rooster here. This is a tag. I will try to find the video and link this. I made some tags using playing cards. I love the way they turned out. I think this is the last one left. Sent some out in Happy Mail. Um, I had a little gift for somebody last night, so I used a tag for that, and I need to make more tags, which I'm going to do soon, and I will share that process, uh, but I wanted to put that there, and that's one reason, too. I love to sew little pieces of fabric. I love having fabric here. Uh, it gives you a place to clip things to, to pin things to. So we have pink out here, and then when you open these, there's a lot of blue and green and yellow. There's typewriter. There's a little piece of fabric I wanted to keep a piece of. You can see the sort of the uh, crocheted flower there. This is one of the Patreon images. That's the pen pal letter for May. There's a little envelope that I can put things in if I find something that I need to come back and add later part of a bag that popcorn was in. And let's just put this back. I didn't need to take this out. And there is the little message about how I came to the point of going to get my hamster typewriter. And so we close this up. More images from Stampington. There is a label from a bandana that I bought. So this is the drawing we started with. I love the way this turned out. 
I went back and added some India ink. Love how dark and thick that is when you just put it on the page. Flower petal. That's from Stamping Ton. I love the Raven. I love Edgar Allan Poe. So I definitely wanted to tear that little image out and keep it. Um, again, I love having fabric in the center of the pages like this. Um, I like things that unravel. And you can just oops, pull these out like this. There we go. Now we've got some really nice unraveling there. And what do we have here? More of those old patterns or dresses from the early 20s. I love this fabric. Absolutely love that fabric. So I wanted to keep a piece of that. And then there's that. That's from an old ad. I ended up sewing a pocket in here from some fabric that I wanted to keep. And this came from a box that had a roll of like shelf liner or drawer liner paper in it. I love the pink color. Jennifer, I know you don't like pink. Um, you've made me uh, really excited about other colors though. That yellow, that mustard seed is just amazing. So uh, I love the layers here. I like the white writing on that light pink background and the flower. So I do want to try some things incorporating those ideas. There's my stamp on the back on some kind of floral fabric there. And that is that journal. So it's going on the shelf and I'm going to start the new journals really soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye for now.